Hi all, welcome to Show Studio's video review series. I'm Show Studio fashion editor Georgina Evans. Um, I'm pulling away from the Valentino Spring Summer 20 show. It's rather miserable here in Paris, um, but not miserable is the wonderful Valentino. So Pier Paolo Pinciolli's um, Valentino is always kind of a splendid affair. Um, I feel like every one of my video reviews has been incredibly um, positive and gushy and wonderful because um, often the Valentino shows are just so moving and romantic and fantastic. Um, what Pier Paolo does really, really well is line, shape, silhouette and colour, um, which I suppose is kind of the essentials really. Um, but what this collection had that was a slight twist on the usual Valentino was a withdrawal. Um, normally there's a lot of maximalism, beautiful prints, embroidery and tarsier, um, and there's certainly quite a bit of that in this collection, but it was very much about pairing back, really honing in um, on the essentials. So backstage in the, in the mood board, uh, there was all these white, um, imagery, so marbles and wall textures and um, architectural finishes and pieces of artwork, beautiful black and white pictures, the odd kind of neon light, and we'll talk about that later. Um, but it's this idea of withdrawal, also a beautiful picture of a kind of nun's habit. Um, so the idea of withdrawal is when you withdraw the colour, um, arguably your eye focuses on the shape and the finish much more because you're not so distracted by everything else. Um, and so the first section of this collection was all white. Um, this brilliant, wonderful white. Um, looks are fantastic, really cinched in on the waist, such a focus on the waist um, throughout this entire first section. Beautiful, kind of dramatic folding, white shirts that were sometimes dresses, sometimes finished with a Bermuda short underneath. Um, and all throughout this, the most beautiful decadent earrings and makeup. And what this does is it kind of just adds a sparkle or a flair. And certainly not that these clothes needed um, kind of an additional um, peppering of jewellery, so to speak, to, to succeed. But it was just that perfect finish that Pier Paolo does so well. So beautiful earrings, some with huge gold, um, gold glitter around the eyes, sometimes beautiful gold lashes, um, and what rather cleverly, an accessory on basically every other model, and that actually ran throughout the entire collection. And what this does really smartly is it kind of just puts that in your mind, in this kind of shopper's mind. And if you see that whole look, you might not be able to afford that dress, but oh, you can look at that tiny bag and say, oh, I could probably get that instead. Um, so it's adding these little entry level focus points throughout the collection, which is very clever. Um, same with the jewelry and the beautiful gold cuffs, but that whole idea with the white is just so entrancing. And there's often quite monastic shapes in a Valentino show, particularly with the couture, kind of starting from the neck and just flowing out in this long triangular line. Um, but that kind of idea of monastic and puritanicalism had been added um, kind of beginning with these beautiful white um, details and looks. Uh, what I really loved was that cinching with the waist with the V logo. So there was a very subtle bringing of the Valentino um, logo in, and mostly that was on bags and on waist. Um, later on in the collection, we had these neons, which are just so vivacious and entrancing, and Pier Paolo's sense of colour is so phenomenal. Um, it's something that the house does so well, in particularly in couture, there's the most amazing colours that just draw you in. They're so rich and almost just like honey-like, and I know it makes you think of a honey colour, but you kind of just get lost in them as if you're diving in. Um, and so these neons, um, you saw on the mood board a few kind of neon art pieces. These neons are absolutely divine. And what I really like about these collect, um, clothes is that they're quite minimal in their silhouette and their finish. There's not a lot of fuss. Everything is about the line that that dress creates. And when everything is in such a block color, you really are focusing on how fantastic the detailing is. So we've got kind of light um, ruching, we've got light um, cascading um, a silhouette all the way to the floor in really neon green, orange, and then slightly more grass greens and yellows, the most beautiful asymmetric dress, which kind of swathes over one arm, tied and then down to the floor. It was just absolutely beautiful. Um, and then we start getting a little bit um, more print and intarsia, which we know and love from um, Valentino. And this kind of builds the crescendo. You're getting the beautiful puritanical whites, you're getting into the neons, and then you finally get um, the prints and the patterns. And this is a real jungle print. So 
beautiful monkey and tarsier on a white, again quite monastic, um, dress, um, wonderful leaf prints um, with kind of jungle creatures at the bottom. One of those is in a sheer, which is really lovely, kind of dividing that section. Um, but just again, still really fresh, even though they're slightly darker and a little bit louder than the rest of the clothes, which is crazy considering how bright the neons were. Um, still really fresh and light, and I know that's quite a common um, descriptive phrase when you're talking about spring summer, but that whole section was just so punchy and fantastic. Um, and then we start to cheaper off back into whites again, so bookended by beautiful whites. Um, and um, before we get to the last whites, there's some fantastic sequined looks. There was one dress that was just borderline obscenely good um, it was yellows and beiges and silvers and golds all sequined and then feathers at the bottom and then a bag as well what I will say about this collection as well the footwear was really brilliant um, almost these le well they were leather glad gladiator um, sandals and braiding with that braiding around the bottom um, and I loved how simple that was again it really just takes you back into feeling the earth, feeling the materials, feeling the silhouette, the real basics so you can celebrate um, the craft and the materials and just how how it's been made, if that makes sense. Um, also there was the typical Valentino stud that I saw back in a few of the shoes as well in gold um, but still in a similar gladiator style which I really liked. Um, throughout the collection even though there was kind of a wonderful cacophony um, of print and colour um, toward the midsection you do really feel like these clothes are designed to make your personality shine so while you certainly stand out while wearing these clothes while wearing the white it's all about um, kind of being quietly um, quietly important, quietly extroverted, if that makes any sense, um, which I really love. It's such a beautiful idea to be um, kind of calm and quiet, but also entering a room and feeling like really impressed with your um, self and just letting your personality shine through, through that beautiful cut and finish. Um, truly wonderful. There's some really nice little notes in the press release, so I'm just going to find it. The ordinary becomes extraordinary um, as permeations unfold and follow one after the other, like shades and shadows multiplying on a grisé. Um, so that grisé is also something that's important to mention. So it's an artistic technique where you kind of take a painting or a wall mural or something on glass um, and take all the colour out of it, so make it monochromatic um, and really focus in on the detailing. And what that um, that kind of met is a metaphor for what Pierre Paolo has been doing in this collection so not making everything black and white and monochromatic but that pairing back really focusing on the detail the detail that needs to go into doing that to a painting um, so hugely impressive um, idea and technique really like that um, let me see if there's any other juicy little bits oh so the last little end um, last little end white we've put the journey is now complete and can commence again um, which is really wonderful so you're taking on this amazing journey I think this is one of my favorite Valentino collections to date um, and I know I probably say that every review but there's something about this that felt really smart and almost um, witty because often it's so romantic and you're falling in love and don't get me wrong the soundtrack was certainly romantic there was Moon River by Frank Ocean and uh, Minnie Ripperton's Loving You is it Minnie Ripperton who sings that? I think so um, and so there's always an element of romance but what, sometimes you kind of get lost in the romance and it feels like you're watching a like really dramatic rom-com movie whereas this felt much more um, slightly more empowering um, and about the individual um, slightly more kind of celebratory um, of the wearer as well as the basic um, makeup of the garment. Um, I hope that's clear. <laughs> um, so yes, a really, really beautiful Valentino collection. Again, um, shock horror, but it just feels like he's always one step ahead of the curve and this collection really proves it. Um, just really, really breathtaking, fantastic, and I just love the feathers and the sequins and the prints and the colours and the cut as well. A lot more shorter, um, cut dresses in this collection much more to the knee and that with the kind of beautiful feathers coming off and the sequins and that explosion of color the riot of puff um it's just mesmerizing really it is um so yes <laughs> one would say i quite like that one um let me know in the comments if you agree did you like it do you like valentino um is it your favorite Pia paolo collection let me know um so like comment subscribe if you're watching through youtube and make sure to visit show studio so you can see this show alongside my review um, we'll speak soon, bye.